at all. And really, any phase of the game, we didn't pitch good. We didn't feel good. Field good. We did not drive in runs. Uh, defensively, we kicked a couple balls, made a bad throw. I mean, overall, it's probably one of our worst games of the year, honestly. How did, how did you get McLaughlin to hit there at the end of the game after you called him? Because when I put him in, I said my DH is going to go pitch. And when he comes out of the game, he's going to continue to DH. That's how. Led better. Looked better. Led better. This is the best outing. I mean, there were a couple of positives. If you're asking about positives, Ledbetter, he pitched really well. I mean, it's the best he's thrown in a while. And, you know, it was good to see Fitzpatrick come in there and spin that slider in there against that lefty as well. So those are a couple of the bright spots. Parker Morris, Coyle he's well. kind of put back-to-back -back outings for Yeah, him. Morris, you know, we, we could have left him in, but we, we feel like we need him this weekend. And, uh, you know, he is throwing a little bit better. So, uh, you know, that's a positive thing. So I guess that's another positive. You know, the, the negative is we had two kids that didn't get an out. And that's that's really, when, when, when you have limited arms, I mean, we're out of pitching. That was our last pitcher. If that game gets tied, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, we're not going to throw anybody that we're going to throw on the weekend And uh, at that point. But, you know, we, we had a couple of guys that I think they threw between the two of them, 27 pitches and seven guys were on base. So. That's that's probably what what cost us. One of those guys being Fouch. Just what, what have you seen from him the last several outings? I don't know. You know, probably confidence more than anything. Um, they didn't hit him. He just didn't. He hit a guy, walked a couple, and you know what do you do? So now you go to Mississippi State, wondering if you can put him in the game. So it's a tough situation. Has Coyle maybe built up some confidence with you? Oh yeah. You know, I mean, there's another guy we could let him. He just pitched three days ago, but. Uh, got to have him ready. We're not, not really for Friday, but for Saturday or Sunday. So uh, it's good to see him go out there. He's just pounding the zone, spinning it, throwing a little change up, and spotting his fastball. And uh, I thought he did a really good job. We talked to Adcock the other day. He said that that Tennessee series where he didn't pitch really helped motivate him and kick him in the right direction. Do you think that that might be the case with Ledbetter? That you know, not being on the roster last week, it might help him. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he. Uh, you know, you got to get better. You know, you can't stay the same. You go backwards a little bit. You, know, you got to get better, you know, each month, each year, and uh, hopefully he'll continue to get better. Yeah, Coach, last week you mentioned Dylan Carter had some soreness. Do you have an update on his status? Yeah, it's not good. That's all I'm going to leave it at. It's, it's not good. You talked about you know, leave, you know, not taking opportunities offensively. Those eighth and the ninth, when you guys get the momentum and you have an opportunity, is that just – just totally deflating for you guys to not no. capitalize there? No, I mean, it was great that we scored three runs with, without doing a whole lot and uh, tied it up. We had one of our best hitters at the plate with a runner in second. He didn't get a hit. You know, but that's the way the game works sometimes. And we had another opportunity, you know, to, to, to take the lead or win the game, and we didn't get the hit. So it's just the way it goes. Did you, did you see guys, as, it, as the game got later on, did you see guys pressing? No, I don't think they were pressing. I think that, you know, they – we're facing one of the top lefties probably in their league and on their team, and they just threw him 60 pitches. And that just, you know, they wanted to win. We wanted to win, but, you know, man, you have to make a decision. Am I going to – I'm not going to throw those guys, so whatever. I know Lipscomb's near the top of their league, but I mean, no, it seems like no matter who you play down here, it's always a tight game, close game. What do you, what do you think that is about that? Well, it's not our home park. It's a totally different park than ours. This is a – huge ballpark and it's a lot different feel so it's really a neutral site and uh, you know the fans are unbelievable here though but uh, it's always close I don't think in the 12 years or whatever we played here I think we've lost what a couple times now and I'd say nine of the other ten have been super close and one game maybe we won by a lot but it's just it, you know they asked me before the game started you know when I spoke to the group up there and I just said it'll be like always here. It's going to be a tight game. The, the home run that Lipscomb hit in to, to get their first run, did, it looked like to us that it didn't clear the yellow line. Yeah. 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 That's a problem. So we would have asked challenge that, but I asked Jace what he saw. And, you know, he's running for the ball. He said it might have hit the top of the yellow line and hit then hit the, the brown above it or whatever. It came off. So, you know, it uh, – we weren't going to change it, but who's to say, you know, who's to say. Looking ahead to the weekend a little bit, with Hunter Holland, do you think there's a chance you might give him an extra day of rest? Yeah. Do you expect him to pitch Friday still? Or yeah, I don't know yet, but there's a, there's a chance we may move him to Saturday or Sunday.
obviously Will came out of the bullpen, McIntyre came yep. out of the bullpen. You see his role stunning. I know we've talked about it a couple times, but just the, the piggyback off of Tiger, does that kind of Yeah, you possibly. Think? You know, that that's probably what's going to happen again if unless we just straight up start him. Is there a part of you that's glad that this is your last midweek game of the season? There was a part of me that was glad there was only two left last week because we don't have enough. We got three games worth on the weekend. Until we get some guys healthy, uh, we have just enough. All right, Coach, thanks for the time.